All right, today's Tuesday, guys. Um, we are continuing with our squatting for Tuesday. Today we'll be doing back squats. We're gonna build up in our percentage a little bit. We're still gonna hold the, the same tempo and our time got a little bit longer to two and a half minutes. We're also gonna be supersetting that with the, um, with the kettlebell jumps as well. Okay, so set up for your back squat. Okay, if you have a movable rack like this, remember that you can always use uh, an in-between for the, the pin here. So sometimes if you feel like it's too short or too tall, there is an in-between. So hopefully you remember that. Hands outside the shoulders, we're stepping in, we're getting that bar placed on the, the traps. Looking, make sure you're even. And then you're bringing that bar out of the rack. All you need to do is take one step back, all right? This is gonna be a tempo, all right? So we're going three, three, X, one. Three seconds down, three seconds pause, and then explosive stand, okay? So I'm uh, making sure I'm balancing the foot. I'm screwing my feet in the ground. Big breath, brace, I'll go 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. Active pause here, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, and stand, okay? I'm gonna do that for three repetitions. I'll step back in and I'll rack the bar, okay? Immediately I'm gonna go into my jumps. I wanna be explosive here, depending on what kind of uh, kettlebell jumping movement that I do. I'm grabbing two here, we'll go along the sides. I'm gonna stay vertical in my, my torso. I'm going down that squat position and jumping. Okay, really trying to open up those hips. 10 of those uh, jump squats there, okay? After I get through five sets of that, we've got a little bit of conditioning to do. We've got some dumbbells and a salt bike. All right, so starting off with our dumbbells, we're gonna do some hang squat cleans. All right, so going into our hang position, we're jumping that weight up and catching in that squat, okay? Make sure you're moving those feet, being explosive. We've got five of those. Once you finish your five, you're going into five front squats. You're holding this front rack position. Notice the, the weight's in front of my, my shoulder here. The weight's forward. I have to drive my elbows up to hold the weight up. <laughs> Engaging my core. Five of those. Then we're doing five reverse lunges each side, okay? Alternating. After I finish that last Reverse lunge, I'm gonna hop up onto my bike here. Make sure I have a good height. Adjust the seat. Go down. I wanna be able to fully lengthen through that leg here. And then I'm smashing it on the bike. Going as hard as I can for 15 calories for the guys, 12 for the ladies. All right, so this part, you're going hard effort, keeping your butt down on the seat. Okay, using your full body, mostly your, your legs. Um, to drive that bike, okay? You'll uh, do a one minute rest and repeat for four rounds, okay? And then your score is your total time. We'll finish off with a little bit of stretching, okay? We've got a pike stretch to do. So feet together, reaching forward, compressing that abdomen reaching, trying to lengthen through the spine as you hold that. Then we'll do a straddle stretch here, reaching out forward. Okay, same thing. Legs are just apart. We'll do a pigeon pose, okay? Each leg, okay? You can do elevated if you'd like as well. And then we'll finish off with a couch stretch. So your foot's gonna go against the wall here. Knee nice and close. Make sure you have a pad for your, your knee sitting up tall opening up that hip, stretching out east side there. 